I wonder what you think about when I say the word saint. Perhaps you have a picture of someone who lived a couple of thousand years ago. Perhaps a man with white hair and a beard and white robes. Or you think of a stained glass window in an old church with pictures of saints often looking very serious. And you think maybe these are very serious people. Serious about God, serious about reading the Bible, serious about praying, but most of all just really serious. There's a church in America, in San Francisco, that I really love. St Gregory's is less than an hour away from the headquarters of Apple and Google and Facebook. About four years ago, I visited the church and stayed with one of the church's founders. On the wall of the church are lots of pictures of saints. But these saints don't look serious. In fact, some of them are dancing. But also, in amongst all these pictures of well-known saints like St Francis and St Gregory, there's people like William Shakespeare, Charles Darwin, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, the saxophone player John Coltrane. They're all up there. If we were doing a church like that today, then we might have pictures of Marcus Rashford, who was taught about Christianity by his mum. And it's that faith in God that drives him to do things like feeding children or helping them to enjoy reading. Or what about a picture of a pop star like Selena Gomez, who goes to the same church as Justin Bieber? You see, a saint is just a friend of God. You could be a saint. Some of you probably are. In the Bible, we have letters that the Apostle Paul wrote to the very first churches about 2,000 years ago. And this is how he started some of those letters. To the saints who are in Ephesus. To the people God loves in Rome who are called to be saints. And so on. He calls ordinary Christians saints. Because that's what they are. Saints are not superheroes. They're not, well, not all of them deeply, deeply serious people. They are not perfect. They make mistakes. They mess up. They get things wrong. But they also show us something about God in how they act, in what they say, in who they are. I wonder, if you were building a church like St Gregory's in San Francisco, who would you have pictures of? There might not even be someone who is famous, just a friend of God who shows us something about God in how they act, in what they say, in who they are. Hey, there might even be a picture of you inside that church. A saint is just a friend of God. And on All Saints Day, we thank God for all of them.